Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning and it's another weekend in isolation. Um, I feel like this weekend is going to be harder than any of the other weekends because it is Easter weekend and I think knowing that we were going to be with family all weekend is like kind of hard when you're literally stuck at home and you can't see anybody. So we're going to make the best of it. We have plans to do like a brunch on Sunday and then order in food and have mimosas. I don't know. We're just going to try to make the best of it and we'll FaceTime family and yeah, I don't know. Just do everything we can to make it still a nice weekend. So right now it is like 10 o'clock on Saturday. I'm about to start a little project that I wanted to do, wanted to do for our bedroom. But before that, I'm going to try the whipped coffee that everybody on TikTok and in like social media is talking about. I bought the instant coffee yesterday and David and I are going to try to make it right now. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to try it. It looks so good. Okay, we're ready to make the coffee. So I have instant coffee, sugar, milk, boiling water. That's all you need. And it's basically one tablespoon of coffee, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of boiling water. And then you put it over um, a glass of like iced milk or whatever kind of um, milk product you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and just measure all of this out. Sugar. And then we need to add water. Okay, and then you basically just mix it together for three minutes. Here's the final thing after we whipped it for probably I would say three to five minutes, honestly. It took us a little while to get this consistency. Um, so now we're going to add it to the cup. This. Okay, now we're going to just mix it. So we made it, I stirred it all up. Now I'm gonna try it. I really like that. I thought it was gonna be, I mean, it is pretty sweet because you can't, I was gonna do less sugar, but I feel like it doesn't whip up if you do that. So I put the full amount of sugar. It's very sweet, it's like more of a dessert than just a coffee drink, but it's very good. All right, well, cheers to Saturday, guys. All right, probably gonna have like one more sip of this. And then give the rest to David because I'm not a huge fan of really, really sweet drinks and it is sweet because there's kind of a lot of sugar in it. So if you like sweet drinks, you'll probably love it and it's super simple to make at home. So I feel like if you're craving your like Starbucks drinks or something, this would definitely like be that, um, be that for you, so. Okay, I'm about to start a little project for our master bedroom. Um, I haven't loved our master bedroom since we moved in here. I kind of felt like it seemed maybe like a college girl's room or something. So I'm trying to make it feel more like of a master bedroom. And I bought new bedding, which I'll show you guys later. But now I'm going to do some really simple like watercolor art to hang on our walls because... I took down the art that I had painted earlier, so I am going to tear my paper into the right sizes using a ruler. Um, I learned that in printmaking, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out the, the, the size of my watercolor paper and then paint. Okay, so I just tore all the paper, so it's exact size of my frames that I have. Um, I'm just using frames that I had around my house that I wasn't using and ordered watercolor paper online. And then I'm gonna use masking tape to create like a one inch border around the art. I feel like that having that kind of makes it look like a matting and it just looks a lot cleaner and more professional. So 
I'm gonna tape off a little border. So I kind of know what I want for art, but I didn't go out and buy new paint. So right now I'm currently going to just mix up a bunch of colors and then test them on this little strip of paper and go bring them up to my bedroom to see if I like the colors. So yeah, I'm basically going to be a little mixologist with the paint and hopefully I can get some colors that I like. All right, I'm running out the door really quick. I just finished those paintings and now we're going to pick up some food that we ordered for a couple people. Um, instead of cocktail kits this weekend, which we did last week, and if you wanna see what we did, go watch the last vlog. Um, but this time we're gonna do a little like pasta night kit. So we ordered a bunch of stuff from a local place that does really cute takeout. So we're going to pick that up to deliver for tomorrow and we scheduled it to be picked up at noon and it's 11.30 or 12.30, so we have to go. All right, we got two bags here for you okay. actually. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, have a great day. You too. All right, here is what we just went and picked up. So we're gonna do these little pasta kits with a bottle of wine to give as kind of like a date night. So it's from Due Focaccia if you live in the Minneapolis area. They give you these homemade noodles. We got bucatini noodles. And then this is a bolognese sauce that looks incredible. And then they give you a bunch of fresh cheese and then a cute little thing to explain how to make it at home so we're gonna do this with a bottle of wine and i think it's just like a very nice gift and we actually might go and get it ourselves one of these days because we both think it looks so good so just an idea if you're looking to give a gift to somebody okay so on to the next project we are gonna go outside and paint our railing and so this is our railing david sanded it off this morning and we're just going to spray paint it black just to make it look a little nicer We got two cans. Okay, here is what I have so far. I'll put plants and fill those eventually, but I think it looks really nice. All right, I actually just ran inside really quick. We just ate lunch and it's so warm out that I had to put a t-shirt on 
And now we're gonna go play bean bags. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to get like five to nine inches of snow or something crazy. So that just shows you what Minnesota's really like. You really never know what the weather's gonna do. Okay, so came back inside for a little bit. David wanted to FaceTime some of his friends. So I am going to frame the art that I painted earlier this morning. It is completely dry now. And I think it turned out really cool. I'm excited to hang it up. This is what they both look like. They turned out cool. So I'm going to wipe down these frames just because they've been in a closet for like a year so I'm just gonna clean them off and then put the art in and I actually think I can hang it myself so we might do that so I got the art done ready to go and I'm gonna hang it up on the wall I'll show you guys where I'm gonna put it okay, so this is the room and I'm gonna hang the two pieces of art right here so it's kind of right when you walk into the room so let's see how this goes Okay, and that is what they look like in the end. I think they turned out super cute. I really like them. All right, David just got done with his FaceTime with his friends. So we're gonna go for a bike ride. We're gonna go to a park and just chill out for a little while. I'm literally trying to spend so much time outside today because like I said, it's supposed to snow tomorrow and be freezing like all next week. So just trying to take advantage of the weather get outside. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! It is Sunday morning and we just ran and did a couple Easter drop-offs at people's houses and now we actually got completely ready for the first time, especially you. Yeah, first time in almost a month that I've had like real something clothes on <laughs> and sweatpants on. Yeah, so we got really dressed up for quarantine and now we're gonna make brunch. We're gonna do a bagel spread, so kind of have bagels and then like all sorts of different toppings. We fresh squeezed orange juice, so we're gonna have some mimosas. And some deviled eggs. For me. Yeah, I feel like deviled eggs are a controversial thing. Some people love them or hate them, but we both like them, so yeah, happy Easter. Okay, here is what I put on. This is actually a dress. I just threw the sweater on over top just because it's snowing today, but yeah, I love this dress and this print. I think it's so cute, so. That is what I'm going to wear at home on Easter, but just kind of feels nice to get dressed up. I feel like I, I've wore jeans and stuff, but yeah, I miss getting dressed. Pop the champagne. Here is our little Easter brunch. So we did bagels and then literally all different sorts of toppings to do kind of any sort of bagel you want. We have our deviled eggs and our mimosas. And yeah, I think it turned out cute.
we just finished brunch and actually filmed a little q a and now i think we're just gonna hang out it is snowing so much at our house right now i'll show you guys this is outside our door in our cute new pots thank god i didn't plant anything yesterday but yeah that kind of sucks but i think we are going to just put on comfy clothes I think we might FaceTime some family and just say hi and check in and see all my nieces and nephew and just, you know, say hi to them since we can't see them today. And then probably watch a movie. We are definitely going to order from our favorite fried chicken place because for Lent we gave up fried food. So we're about to have chips and fried chicken tonight because that's like what we've been craving. It's so weird, but... We're definitely gonna order from there later. Um, and yeah, that's kind of our Sunday, kind of chill and just, I mean, the snow just makes you obviously not want to go outside or anything. So I guess movies it is. Okay, so I was just changing into comfier clothes and my friend texts me to check my front stairs of my house. So I'm gonna go out, see what's out there. Let's do a little unboxing. Okay, already obsessed. How cute this card is. I feel like I need to frame that for a bedroom or something. I think that's so cool. So cute. Oh my God. Okay, I've been dying to try these. She obviously knows that I love sour candy and I've honestly almost bought these on Amazon multiple times during quarantine because the amount of candy I've been eating is so bad and these are supposed to be like a little bit better for you. I feel like we gotta just try one. So cute. Mmm, okay. Whoa, I love those. Those are super good. Okay, let's see what's next. A spa strength glycolic resurfacing pad to smooth and brighten. Fun. I've been super into skincare, so I'm excited to try that. What's next? Oh, this little candle. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like lavender. Look how cute. Is it gonna? And then it came with this little, I wonder if she made this. Look how cute this is. So it's a little like clay puck and then you put the candle on it and let it burn. Okay, that is so freaking cute. The next thing is she said in her note, is a prism ball that you hang in a sunny window so it must reflect a bunch of light and i feel like they like leave little specks of like rainbow all over your house if it gets sunny this is so cool so it looks like this and then you hang it from a sunny window i feel like i'm just gonna hang it up in this room because this is probably where we get the most sun such a cool idea. Okay, and this is the next thing she gave me. I feel like she definitely made this, which is so cool. So it's a hair and skin oil. How freaking fun. Oh my God, that smells so good. Okay, I'm totally gonna use that tonight, but she definitely made this. Literally love, it's so creative. Oh, that was so fun to get. Thank you so much, Caitlin, if you're watching, which I'm sure you are. I freaking love this. Such cool things. Literally can't wait to use it all.